Hello guys and welcome to Suzuka the Japanese Grand Prix for another edition in this F1 2014 backmarker career and as you can see we are starting 7th on the grid today the two Mercedeses are in front in case you want to watch the uh, qualifying session there you can just click on the annotation there in the top left corner anyway we are getting ready to get underway here we have Vettel immediately in front of us button on our right lots of wheel spin from button there we don't get the greatest start but it doesn't appear that we're losing any positions either but we do not have the best line here into turn one have to go around the long way on the outside button is all over the place there on the inside of us and we are able to out accelerate him here coming out of the turn and Vettel is very slow in front of us have to break there just a bit of wheel touching just trying to squeeze back down the inside of us but he has to back out of it and we are up two positions into fifth after having started seventh and are currently wedged in between the two Red Bulls there. Ricardo is in front and Vettel is immediately behind us. Just running a little wide there, almost going into the runoff pit. And it's a good thing we managed to make that recovery. And for those of you who haven't seen the qualifying session, uh, I feel I should tell you that we are running a very high downforce setup as we had a wet qualifying session I believe it was uh, Q1 and Q2 I'm just running wide there again Q1 and Q2 were driven on intermediate tires so we had to go with a very high downforce setup also there's a 44% chance of rain during the race here so we opted to go with a maximum downforce setup just to stay competitive should it start to rain sometime during the race and what that means is that we are very much off the pace on this very long crossover straight and we are going to be doing a lot of defending here during this race anyway status after lap one we are in fifth position two places up from our starting position on the grid Ricardo is in front of us, Vettel is immediately behind us, Massa is leading the race currently, I would assume he has the two Mercs immediately behind him, somebody's trying to go down the inside of somebody and Vettel's trying to go down the inside of us but we managed to keep our line even though we run into the grass here, managed to keep our line and he has to back out of that attempt. And in general here, just not doing very well through turns three, four, and five, unfortunately. As this is one of the sections of the track where that extra downforce should be helping us a bit. And skipping ahead here to lap six, we still have Vettel immediately behind us, as you can see. Ricardo has opened up a gap. He's about seven seconds up on us at the moment. And Vettel is doing basically everything he can to pass us at the moment. Just going down the inside having another look here he does not have the line we keep to the racing line he has to back out of that move and we live to fight another day but this is going to be very difficult what we're trying to do right now is just open up enough of a gap through the sections of the track where that extra downforce is helping us ensuring that we have enough of a head start every time we go out on the crossover straight making it impossible for Vettel to pass us there because there is really no way of defending if he is immediately behind us coming out of turn 13 that's pretty much it we cannot keep him behind us on that long straight and already here on lap 9 these option tires are starting to go ever so slightly even though they don't look too damaged yet I can definitely feel a change in grip at this time so so we are supposed to be coming in on lap 16 for our first stop but also they are expecting rain within 10 minutes time so at the moment, we're going to be staying out on track and see how things develop to try and save a pit stop there. And, and Vettel is going to have a look down the inside. We stick to our line. He has to back out. And we managed to keep him behind us yet again. There's no doubt right now that we are holding him up at the moment. But there is not much he can do unless he is right on our rear wing on one of the long straights as we are faster in the corners than he is. Skipping ahead here to lap 11, these tires are starting to show some wear. Coming into turn 13, we get a pretty good line here, but we get on the throttle a little too hard here in the middle of the turn, running wide, and Vettel seizes the opportunity, blows by us into fifth place, and we are down to sixth. So we lose a position due to a driving error, 
and there's not too much to be said about that. And skipping ahead here to what is going to be lap 15, you can see Vettel is opening up quite a gap on us right now as he is about nine seconds up on us already and we have Button chasing us about three seconds down at the moment. Also, Kobayashi seems to be driving a very nice race in front of his home crowd here. He is in the eighth position, and our rival Raikkonen is down in tenth. Jumping to lap 16, this is supposed to be the lap for our first pit stop. However, as you can probably make out, it is starting to rain ever so slightly right now. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be putting in a few extra laps on these very worn option tires and making the jump straight to intermediates here. And uh, as it turns out, though, the rain is not coming down very heavily. So we end up coming in for our first pit stop here on lap 22 where we can change to intermediates and I'm not sure whether or not we actually won anything by that because we had some very slow laps on a set of very dead option tires. We rejoin in sixth position, no change there, we are still behind Vettel and still right ahead of Button. And jumping straight ahead here to lap 23, this is the section of the track where we need to be fast in order to keep Button behind us. As you can see on the mini track there, he's not far behind at all. So we cannot afford to give him the opportunity to close the gap on us during this section of the track or he's going to come by us like a bat out of hell on the crossover straight. Lap 24, no change overall right now, except the fact that we are starting to get some heat into these tires and are starting to corner a whole lot better, which you can see on the mini track there, Button is having a hard time keeping up at the moment. Vettel is about 15 seconds ahead of us and Button is about a second down and the rain is starting to intensify just a little bit here. It'll be interesting to see whether or not we are going to have to go in for full wets at some point. But at this moment, we are matching race pace and are staying competitive on the intermediate tires, at least. And skipping ahead one more time to lap 25 this time. As you can see, we are currently lapping about half a second quicker than Button, which is very positive indeed. Skipping ahead here to lap 32, we are coming in for our second stop as these intermediate tires are starting to go, unfortunately. And I was kind of hoping we could stay out long enough for the rain to subside enough so that we would be able to switch directly to a set of primes. However, uh, as these tires were really starting to go and we were putting in some very bad laps, I just didn't see how this was going to be possible. And they keep talking about how the rain is supposed to stop here in about 10 minutes time, but unfortunately, 10 minutes is a very long time to race on a set of dead tires. Skipping to lap 38 here, some cars are in the pits. It appears that Alonso and Jensen Button are rejoining the track immediately ahead of us here, meaning the sixth, seventh, and eighth positions are within two seconds of each other at this moment. And also there's a back marker ahead of us there that appears to be holding up both Alonso and Button, just parking that car right on the apex as the AI does in this game, unfortunately. And jumping ahead a few corners here, we have a blue flag situation as Hamilton is coming up from behind to lap us and Button is opening up the door for him to pass. We take advantage of that, go down the outside. Not a very sporting move, I'll admit, but as you might recall, we had a similar situation in the Bahrain race where Alonso took advantage of a blue flag situation to pass us. So I guess we're just returning the favor, right? As you can see, Button is immediately catching up to us here in the long straight, trying to move down the inside, but he has to back out, giving us some much needed breathing room at the moment. 
And also the skies are definitely starting to clear. So I expect that we'll be coming into change to a set of primes within a couple of laps here. And jumping ahead here to lap 40, that is exactly what's happening. We are going to be changing to a set of primes that we are going to be finishing the race on. So we managed to rejoin in seventh position as we have Button about 20 seconds behind us and Alonso is about five seconds ahead of us. Skipping ahead here to lap 41, as you can see, we are still in seventh position, but coming through turn nine, that changes as Ricardo is bumped down a place below us. We are into sixth position all of a sudden. The number of cars running has changed from 18 to 17, and Ricardo appears to be out of the race. Skipping right ahead here, lap 47, the situation remains unchanged. We are in sixth position at the moment. Alonso has opened up quite a gap on us. He's about 16 seconds up, and Button is nine seconds down on us with six laps remaining of the race. Jumping to lap 49, as you can see, Alonso is still increasing the gap on us at the moment. He's about 20 seconds up. But more importantly, Button seems to be closing the gap on us quite heavily here as he is only about three and a half seconds down on us at the moment. And I get the feeling he is on the option tires because he is definitely lapping with some vengeance right now. So this could be a situation of just having to hang on for dear life to the end of the race. And as you can see here, lap 52, Button is right on our exhaust at the moment as he has closed the gap completely and is definitely looking to put us under attack sometime within the near future. But as Lewis Hamilton takes the win here, he has lapped us once. That means we only have to finish this one lap and that will be the end of the race for us. So if we can keep Button behind us here for the remainder of this lap, it means we will finish in sixth position. So if we can keep Button from closing on us enough here through turn 13, that might give us enough of a head start on the crossover straight to keep him behind us on the latter part of this final lap of the race but he gets a very good exit he is all over us here and we take a very very defensive line so to speak on the crossover straight he's gonna have a look down the outside of us there and we just drift enough to the right to shut the door on him and if we can manage to avoid any stupid things like spinning out here in the final three turns this will be a sixth place finish for us So to summarize, we started seventh on the grid, we finished sixth, and considering we had a rain spell here during the race and uh, our pit stop strategy did not work out as well as we had hoped, I would say that sixth place is more than acceptable. Anyway, Lewis Hamilton finally has some success here. He takes a much needed win. Rosberg is in second, Felipe Massa is in third. And with that win, Hamilton has a chance of making the championship battle here interesting in the last three races. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like or subscribe even. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon enough. Apart from one last thing, uh, it appears that we got a contract offer from McLaren for their number two drive in the... 2015 season meaning the next season here in this particular career and seeing as I was really hoping to uh, 
get an offer from one of the top teams, I realize there's probably going to be more offers and I can probably wait with this one. Uh, I really don't want to get into a top team next year, so I'm quite happy with the McLaren team. So I've decided to accept this one and will be driving for them next season.